Here it is, beloved and darling, my birthday, and 12 o'clock exactly, and I rang you about five minutes ago from down in the payphone in the lobby so it wouldn't go through the switchboard, and I've gotten the recorder set up, and I'm not going to change it, as I say, something more comfortable yet, because I get awfully tired of you never being able to see me dressed pretty or nice anymore, and and I want that. I want you to remember me like when we were in Chicago. Oh, darling, I got your tape last night. And uh, I looked out the window and here come a Pontiac driving in the driveway. He got to about, about flip the switch. And so I stopped it and put the tape in the, in the cabinet and locked the cabinet up. But damn, that, that scared the hell out of me. I was afraid I'd get, get caught with the tape on here. And to another thing you mentioned on your tape, to be sexy to men, I thought you had to act that way. Well, I don't. I am not sexy to men. And if I am, and that's one of my faults, I certainly hope that you expand on this subject because I don't intend to do anything that's going to jeopardize me with you. You can be sure of that. I do want to be with you so badly. I really do. Makes it terribly, terribly bad on you, Jeannie. It makes me feel like I'm the world's biggest heel at times. Still have to keep things under the lid, dead tight, for sure. You hear you tell me these things in my ear and it's so wonderful, darling. There's there's nothing quite like a tape, is there? They just was running.